Hi and welcome to another Science at Home activity using one of our House of Science kits. Now because we're stuck at home thanks to the COVID lockdown we uh, cannot access these kits through school. You're not going to school at the moment. I'm stuck at home, welcome to my kitchen, but I thought I'd share an activity that you can easily do at home. This is called the iceberg or the melting ice activity and it comes out of our climate change kit which is very very popular. So there's been lots of talk about the warming of the earth as a result of climate change um, could cause the ice that is in um, Antarctica and in the Arctic and caught up in um, glaciers and fjordland and the like um, is causing the ice to melt. Now the icebergs that are floating in the ocean, what would happen if all of the icebergs in the ocean were to melt? What effect would that have on the sea level? Would the sea level rise? Have a think about that as I set this up and see if you can predict what you think the result might be before we come to the end of this experiment. So today you're going to need a container, it doesn't have to be uh, like this, it could be an ice cream container, any container with a level top. You're going to need a ball of ice. So I prepared this a couple of days ago and I put some water, some salt water in a balloon because we're talking ocean ice here and I'm now going to cut that balloon open and remove the balloon from my ice. This is going to be a bit tricky. The balloon doesn't want to come off. I added a bit of blue food colouring to my ice as well just so we can see what's happening. It's really cool, look at that. So there's my iceberg, or ball of ice. You don't want to blow the balloon up with water all the way because you want it to fit inside the container. So there we go. There's my ice inside the container. And then you're going to need some paper towels because this could get messy and we don't want to make it a big mess. So I'm going to put a lot of paper towels down just in case my bowl of water overflows. So here we go. Lots of paper towels, my ice in my bowl. And then I'm going to get some, some sea water. So this is a jug of salty water. I've just added a bit of salt to the water. And I'm going to pour that in my ocean. There we go. Until my container is full to the absolute brim. All right, there we are. No more can fit in. Can you see how it's almost bulging over the edge? Now what do you notice about my iceberg? It is floating. You see that? It's not sitting on the bottom of the container anymore. It is floating in my ocean and it is sticking above the ocean. Now isn't that fascinating? You might have noticed when you've had a drink with ice cubes in it that the ice cubes always float and they actually stick out above the level of your drink. So this is because ice is not as dense as water. When water freezes, it actually gets a bit bigger and it is less dense. It's got little bits of air trapped inside that ice and that is causing it to float. When you see icebergs or pictures of icebergs, the bit you see above the ocean is a tenth of the actual iceberg. So 90%, most of it is underwater, but a little bit, 10% is above the water. So because my container is completely full to the brim, and because the ice is a little bit higher than the water, what do you think would happen when the ice melts? You, you write down your prediction or tell someone else in your bubble at home, what do you think will happen when the ice melts? I'm going to put this on my kitchen bench and we're going to watch this over a few hours. So, what did you think of that? Did you predict that the water was not going to overflow? What does this mean for the icebergs that are melting as a result of climate change? Will it cause the sea levels to rise? No, not the ones that are floating in the ocean. It won't make any difference. So, I hope you had a great time. When you go back to school, make sure you ask your teacher to get this kit for your class so that you can learn more about climate change and all the science behind it. Thanks for your time.